Okay, so we've just finished performing two financial statements, the income statement and the statement for retained earnings. We've calculated our income by taking our revenues minus our expenses, and we've transferred that information from our net income into our statement for retained earnings. Our statement for retained earnings just symbolized everything that affected retained earnings, and that gave us a retained earnings ending balance, which we're going to now transfer to the balance sheet. Okay, and so what you need to understand about the balance sheet is that the balance sheet represents the accounting equation, scope of accounting equation at a point in time. Different from the other three financial statements, the balance sheet focuses on a point in time, as I mentioned before. The rest of the other financial statements represent a period, a month or a year. So let's take that information from this trial balance and make a balance sheet, which I've already kind of had the the time to do and so this is an example of the balance sheet and as you can see the first thing that I want to point out is how we properly titled the balance sheet there's a difference in how we titled this balance sheet from the other uh, preceding uh, financial statements if you notice the difference comes in here with the date right Normally, for those other ones that represented a period, we would re represent that by saying for the month, for the year, for the quarter. But since this is a point in time, we have to sim sum summarize it by the actual date. So basically, we're saying that this was the actual date that this balance sheet was created. And so the first thing you're going to do from the accounting equation is list your assets. And you do list your assets in a particular order. We tend to do a list all of our assets in order of its liquidity. Liquidity is just a term that summarizes how quickly that you can convert something into cash, how quickly you can flip something into cash. And as you may be aware of, as I mentioned earlier, we have certain assets that we're going to hold less than a year. Those assets that we hold less than a year, that converts into cash less than a year, we consider them to be short-term assets. And so we always list our short-term assets first, and then we list our long-term assets. Those long-term assets are those assets that you keep for longer than a year, obviously. And you normally have them because they help you operate your business. And so as you can see, our very first asset that you always list will be cash. Cash is king, and it's in order of its liquidity. Followed by your next asset, which is accounts receivable. And then supplies. Those are you consider your short-term assets. These numbers that I've taken uh, and added into this, this particular financial statement comes directly from your trial balance. So all we did was transfer that information in here. After we finish reporting our supplies of 500, we move on to our long-term assets. And as you can see, the list of our long-term assets, those assets that convert into cash longer than a year, consist of land, furniture, and building. So we applied those numbers there, and then we received the total. Our total assets gave us a total of $110,500. And so next you would be able to calculate the other part of your um, accounting equation, and that consists of your liabilities plus your stockholders' equity. So if you pay close attention, we always list our liabilities first. And the first, we only had two liabilities in this situation. So we had an account payable of $200. We had a notes payable of $60,000. You get a total liability amount of $60,200. Next, you move on to your other part of the accounting equation, which is the stockholders' equity. And our stockholders' equity are always broken out into two parts. The first part of your stockholders' equity is paid in capital. Paid in capital is also known as issuing stock, and the account that relates to that will be common stock. So we list our common stock for forty-eight thousand. All that numbers, all these numbers are coming from our trial balance. Lastly, you would also generate your retained earnings. Now I want you to pay close attention because this retained earnings balance is the only one that did not come from the trial balance. Where did that $2,300 come from? It came from our previous last statement, the statement of retained earnings in which we calculated that, and now we're adding it to our um, balance sheet. Okay. 
We get a total stockholders equity of 50300 And if we add our total liabilities plus our total stockholders equity, we should get an amount. And that amount is 110500 which is exactly the same as 110500 in our total assets. So that means we are winning and our balance sheet is complete. So those are your three financial statements that you should understand carefully.